Hello everyone. It's been about three weeks since I've last posted a video. I've been on vacation, finally got back, unpacked, readjusted my uh, internal clock, and been working on cleaning this space up so I can actually start doing experiments and videos. So I decided I would give a little video tour of the lab. Starting on this shelf, from the bottom, I've got secondary containment for flammable solvents, acids and bases, as well as some other things like uh, glassware cleaning detergent. Up one level we have the boring glassware, beakers, flasks, uh, graduated cylinders, desiccator, watch glasses, the list goes on. Up here we have innocuous chemicals, mostly salts, uh, a couple liquids like uh, mineral oil for heating baths, some organics, um, nothing really reactive. Up one level we have a split here. We have one side for equipment and miscellaneous things and the other side for chemicals. So we have gloves, sample vials, heating bath, um, boiling chips. Then we have a makeshift desiccator, microscope slides, reducing agents over here, oxidizing agents over there. Uh, they probably shouldn't be stored too close together, but they're all contained, so nothing really will happen. Um, and then on the very top we have uh, parts for stands, um, lab jack, uh, test tubes, pipette bulbs, clamps, filter paper, labels, uh, tube racks. And then on the bench we have a balance hot plate, bins for things like adapters, stoppers, and pH test paper. Um, you know, the newly installed power bar, which should be nice to quickly plug in new devices on the lab bench, or just as a general workbench. Down below we have the interesting glassware, all of this is ground glass jointed. We have some more stuff in storage that I have yet to unpack, or won't unpack. Um, a whole pile of empty bottles for sample storage. Uh, Variac in that red milk crate, and um, work gloves and other things in this green one. A couple more chemicals, uh, miscellaneous. Now note these two power cords, they go to the newly installed shop lights. Also the uh, drill press, now we're getting into the mechanical and electrical build side. Uh, we've got uh, tiny drill bits for circuit board manufacturing, lubricants and oils, drill bits. Then going on to the electronics workbench, we have all the same as before but on a different table. So we have our power supply, space for an oscilloscope and other instruments parts bins, and a nice workspace, more storage up above, same old fire extinguisher. Moving on to this tool shelf, we've got bins for storing tools and other uh, small pieces of equipment, some raw materials, some paperwork like MSDS sheets, some rack-mounted power supplies for other things, and work light. And then we have electronics parts storage. We have some projects in progress, we have bins of wire and components, capacitors, two boxes of capacitors, um, boxes of motors, different meters, RF stuff, and uh, the list goes on. We have transformers, we have another project, we have a whole bunch of switches, leather working tools, all the little parts bins that I use to store and sort my capacitors from resistors and other small components. We've got Let's see, more miscellaneous, um, circuit breakers, filters, relays, big diodes, heat sinks, um, high voltage stuff. That silver package is uh, a pair of huge 300 amp, 1200 volt IGBT modules, CM300DY-24H if you want to look up the data sheet. And on to more storage, arts and crafts stuff, fabric paint, face paint acrylic paint, uh, tea light candles, I'm going to use that for paraffin wax to make some uh, campfire tinder, uh, copper scrap storage, and some aluminum in there too. Um, computer parts, miscellaneous, wall warts, um, instruments and meters, plumbing parts, and uh, wire on spools, more miscellaneous things in storage, 
adhesives and glue, wood scraps, and a couple more Rubbermaid containers. I love these things, but uh, I still have a lot to unpack. And uh, there's the good old capacitor bank. Still need to give some tests on that thing. But that's the entire workshop. There's a lot more space than before, a lot better lighting, so expect some better quality videos with some more content coming soon.